Synchro Software offers a digital platform built for planning, managing, and tracking construction projects throughout their entire life cycle. Now, this overview focuses mainly on Synchro Pro, the industry-leading 4D BIM tool that's dramatically improving project delivery performance. I'm Mazen Falugi, part of the project delivery team here at Synchro Software, and over the next few minutes, I'll give you a short preview of how Synchro Pro can be used on your own projects. Now, construction project planning, coordination, monitoring, and controls are extremely complicated and difficult activities. And if you're watching this, you've probably figured out that when you're trying to build projects that look like this, or this, or this, ahead of schedule and under budget, using a tool that looks like this, it's really hard to um, make it work. What you need on your project is a software solution that will enable you and your team to visually plan, schedule, monitor, and control in a medium that looks more like this. And that's what this video is all about. How to effectively use 4D construction management over the course of your project lifecycle. By the end of this video, you will have a general understanding of the entire project management workflow using the Synchro 4D platform. So, I'm going to break it down into three core concepts. Starting with how to set up your 4D project, then how to use it to optimize your schedule, and finally, how to use it to stay in control of your projects and make sure everything goes as smoothly as possible. So, starting with the first concept, how to set up your 4D project. Well, you usually start by importing the 3D BIM models that you have, and depending on your 4D objectives and where you are in your project lifecycle, these may be your design BIM models coming from Revit, Navisworks, MicroStation, Archicad, or practically any other BIM package. And that would be for the most common type of planning. They can also be highly detailed laser scans converted to mesh uh, for projects where spatial accuracy is very important. Or even just a PDF drawing with some extruded shapes for high-level master plans and long-term projects. For example, the construction phase on the project shown here is over 20 years long. Then you'll have to decide whether you want to import an existing schedule that you have, say in P6, Microsoft Project, or even Asta, or simply use the models that you've imported to create your own schedule from scratch completely inside of Synchro Pro. Either way, Synchro Pro has a state-of-the-art CPM scheduling engine that you can use to make schedule modifications and optimizations. You can synchronize with the updated versions of the imported schedules without losing any work and you can even export the changes that you made in Synchro back to those scheduling packages if you so choose. Now, if you decided to import an existing schedule, you will have to define how its activities are linked to the relevant model objects. For smaller projects, this can quickly and easily be done using drag and drop functionalities in combination with Synchro's advanced schedule and model filtering features. But for larger projects, you will want to take advantage of Synchro Pro's rule-based auto-matching feature, which allows you to leverage all of the metadata that comes with your models and schedules to automatically link them together. And finally, you'll use appearance profiles to define the type of action happening between each resource to activity link. For example, whether it's installed, maintained, removed, or temporarily worked on during that activity. And then while that's happening, what will the colors and transparency levels and direction of work be? While setting up the project, you also have the option to host the 4D model on a server, which enables multiple users to work on separate parts of the model at the same time. And this has allowed our users to scale up their 4D models quite impressively. At this point, if you haven't already started doing so, now would be a great time to start optimizing and or detailing your schedule. And that brings us to part two. The first step is to always scrub through the focus time or generate an animation and watch it while keeping an eye for any schedule inconsistencies. It's also extremely important to show the animation or pass around the SP file and get feedback from the people actually doing the work. Next, you'll want to use filters and cutting planes to highlight different scopes of the project that you might want to analyze separately. In this example, a filter is used in the right window to show the interior works happening on the project. And here, we are seeing a cutting plane used to show work on interior finishes. After addressing the obvious mistakes, it's time to look for other improvements. 
This is done by capturing a baseline and then trying out different sequences. For example, see what happens if you use two cranes instead of one. And if you try out a specific sequence that actually requires four cranes, then you guessed it, Synchro will actually show you that you need four cranes for that sequence. Now visually interrogating the model is great, but at some point you'll also want to start using all of the data that comes with the model. And although Synchro's calculated user fields and scripting features allow you to practically do anything with your data, it's good to start with something simple. One simple example would be to take the volume quantities from all the 3D concrete elements, aggregate the numbers depending on how they are grouped in the activities of the schedule, and then plot the concrete histogram to figure out how many trucks will be coming on site on any given day. You can then use the 4D viewport to see exactly where the ports will be and how the trucks can be distributed. This brings us to the third and final topic in this video, using the platform to effectively monitor and control the project. First, in order to get the most value, you want to get the 4D in the hands of as many stakeholders as possible. Synchro can output many types of video animations that you can share, as well as different types of 4D reports and visual daily work plans that you can print or compile into a slideshow and distribute. In addition, the Synchro viewer is completely free and can be used by anyone willing to further examine the model without making any changes. But you don't want to just keep pushing information to the construction site, because once the project starts, it's even more important to be pulling information from the construction site. Synchro's mobile application Synchro site makes this really easy. People using the app can status both tasks and resources directly from the field using an iPad or even an augmented reality using the Microsoft HoloLens. These statuses all go back into Pro and can be used to derive percent completes, signal other trades about potential constraints, attach photos from the site to the model, and most importantly, accurately show the real progress of the project. So in conclusion, Synchro's visual approach to scheduling, monitoring, and controls provides numerous benefits. My top three include the following. It's a quick and effective means to communicate and create a shared understanding of thousands of interdependent activities and resources, which minimizes rework and reduces risk. It provides an easy way to review various scenarios to ensure you are using the best approach given the project objectives, and that it's interoperable with practically all the scheduling and modeling tools out there, so it's not disruptive to your existing workflows, and it handles really large models with ease. Our customers report improvements in schedule reliability, safety, and of course the ability to deliver on time and on budget. And finally, our licenses come with personal support and free online training in Synchro Academy. So we invite you to join the community and experience firsthand what Synchro Pro can do to your projects.